Let's unpack all this with Marco Brunazzo. He is a professor of politics and European studies at the University of Trento. Professor, it's good seeing you. Firstly, uh, in your opinion, how much is this Brothers of Italy win a shift in Italian politics? Yeah, this, this is certainly a big shift in Italian politics. And I think it is due to mainly two reasons. First of all, uh, there is the fact that there is a general dissatisfaction among the Italian voters about Italian party politics. Uh, this is quite clear uh, if, we look, if you look at the level of abstention. 10% in this election, around 40% of Italian voters did not go to vote. Uh, and uh, uh, in comparison to 2018 election, 10 percent more than 2018 election decided not to go to vote. Uh, the second uh, indicators of dissatisfaction is the fact that uh, uh, 30 percent of Italian voters decided to change their vote in comparison to 2018 election. And this, uh, this means that the Italian political system is very unstable. And Giorgio Belloni took advantage of this uh, instability uh, because she used a very good strategy. Uh, she did not support any government in the last five years. In the last five years, in the last legislature, uh, all the parties at a certain point in time supported one kind of government. All the parties supported, for example, uh, Mario Draghi's government, except uh, uh, Fratelli d'Italia, Giorgio Meloni party. And, and so Giorgio Meloni could present herself as a um, uncorrupted, uh, coherent party, uh, not responsible for any hard decision taken during the pandemic or uh, the economic crisis. So, uh, she, she really uh, was very smart in this kind of, uh, of strategy. And the Italian voters just decided to, um, to support Giorgio Meloni because of this uh, uh, very, very good strategy. Mm, Professor, uh, league leader Matteo Salvini says he will speak with Meloni in the coming hours to start the process of forming a new government. But considering the differences in opinion and policy, sometimes subtle, among coalition members, I know you said you don't expect political stability, but what kind of instability do you see coming? Yeah, I think this will be the first problem for uh, Giorgia Meloni, uh, because Giorgia Meloni took advantage uh, and conquered many uh, voters, uh, previous voters of the League. So the League now is weak because um, Giorgia Meloni is... Uh, is stronger. Uh, so the, 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 the voters were the same. They just moved from the League to, to, to Fratelli d'Italia, to Giorgia Meloni's party. And so the, fir the, the first problem of, uh, of Giorgia Meloni will be dealing with, uh, with uh, Matteo Salvini. Matteo Salvini won't be the uh, ministers of domestic affairs. Uh, she, he spent a lot of time in explaining that immigration is a problem and uh, how he would have acted as a domestic affairs minister. And now Giorgio Meloni has to deal with this problem. Uh, and this can create really a strong instability, um, and we will see what will happen. All right, Professor Marco Brunazzo at the University of Trento. Appreciate the analysis. Thank you.